I want to talk about some lessons from this guy, Papillon. And uh, I'm reading this book right now. It's a really good book. And they actually made a movie about it. And it starred Charlie Hunnam, the dude from Sons of Anarchy, who played Jax. And this guy, Rami Malek, who played Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody. Another really awesome movie. And uh, if you're catching up on movies right now, that's a good one to watch if you haven't seen it. But this movie, Papillon, it was a really good movie. And as usual, the movie didn't do the book justice. And after seeing the movie, I went out, I got the book. And I actually started it a while ago. I started to read it again. And uh, there's some really powerful lessons in there. And one of those lessons is no matter what your situation, you never give up. You never lose hope. And you keep on pressing forward. So this guy, Papillon, he was wrongfully convicted of murder. He was a thief, so he was a criminal, but uh, he got set up by uh, some pretty bad guys, and he went to this very notorious prison called Devil's Island in French Guinea, French Guinea, something like that. And uh, at the time, it was one of the worst prisons imaginable in the world, and just horrendous conditions, and just being locked up with the worst people imaginable, and people had to... You know, if you had money, you had to, you stored it in this thing called a plan, which you stored up your rectum. And a lot of these guys, they'd go to this island and just be drinking shitty water and eating shitty food. And they had the craps. So imagine trying to uh, hide your money while you're dealing with uh, the craps and public urinals and or public toilets and all that. But uh, the uh, penalty for trying to escape this island, I think the first time was three years of solitary confinement. The second time was five years. Anyway, Papillon, uh, he planned an escape. He escaped. And this isn't covered in the movie. And if you don't like spoilers, then don't watch this. But uh, the real story, he successfully escaped and he actually ended up crashing on this um, in Colombia. And he ended up living with these Indians who had never really been known to accept the white man. In fact, white men or non-Indians in Colombia were dreadfully afraid of these Indians. But Papillon somehow managed to uh, really make friends with these Indians. He ended up living with them. He ended up having a child with uh, one of their women. And uh, they really loved him. But he really wanted to make it back home and he decided to uh, work his way work his way back to France, where he was from. And he ended up getting caught along the way, sent back to prison, put in solitary confinement. And he made it through solitary confinement. He didn't give up. And he got caught some other times. There were more trials, uh, more just very dreadful things that happened to him. And yet... He actually eventually made it to become a free man against so many odds. And uh, it's a really great story of hope. There's some really uh, kind of hard things to read in it. But it really gives great perspective of things can always be worse, no matter what your situation is. And it's just such a great lesson that if you press forward, if you don't give up hope, who knows what will happen? You just might make it out the other side and live an amazing life like this guy Papillon did. So if you're looking for a good book to read, you might want to check it out. You might want to start with the movie. The movie's really good. And um, I don't know, just some thoughts I had. So let me know what you're, uh, what you're dealing with right now and what you're doing to pass the time and keep your mind off other things. And... If you have any great message you want to share, then please share that too. So I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're staying healthy and safe. And I'll see you real soon.